Hi, I'm Macy and this is Snap and we're here at the Sensei booth and um, we're going to do a little demo of the Bedlington head for you uh, using our Sensei shears. All right, so let's get started. And we're also using Sensei's combs, which are really cool. So let's start here. So I believe these are eight and a half inch curves that we're going to start with. We're going to start by cutting in the sides here. And I just did some quick clipper work, so my lines aren't perfect here today. <laughs> All right. Now that we've got that set in, I'm going to switch to my straights here. And they really cut through really nice. And Bedlington hair is not very forgiving. If your scissors aren't sharp, you're not going to cut it at all. Be very careful around their cute little lips. Sorry, we're, we're moving around a little bit here. Stay. Stay. And you want a straight line from your chin here, or your muzzle, to the back of your head. So you want to take all of that stuff off. Can you guys see that? not super used to grooming on camera so it's hard for me to figure out how to show you guys exactly what I'm doing. And when you're doing the Bedlington head you don't want to pull things side to side here because it'll never come out just how it's supposed to be. You want to make sure that you're combing up and out. I'm going to take this And they're really not leaving any lines. This is actually the first time I've ever used them. And theirs are actually really unique. This is not the cutting edge. So I can actually run my hand all the way along it, which scared me when he showed me. The teeth are actually the cutting edge. Stay, snap. Clean up around his muzzle here. Good boy, Snapple. And then we're going to switch them around so I can do the other side. Figure out a good way to do this. Snap. Stay. Good boy. He thinks I'm crazy. How are we looking, Jeremiah? Can you still see everything pretty good? Yeah. Just taking all this hair off of his muzzle here. Stop, snap. 
And when you're doing around the eye, you just want to cut in just with the tips, just to the center of the eye, not all the way through. Because you want to leave them a little bit in the front. Unless you're doing a pet dog, and then I would cut all the way through, just so they can see better. All right. Can you sit, Snap? Good boy. So we're going to do the top here. And their head should look like a banana. So we definitely don't want straights for that. <laughs> so. A lot of people are always asking me, you know, how can he see? And uh, I mean, sometimes he really can't, especially when he hasn't had a haircut in a very long time. But he usually wears a ponytail and he gets along just fine. Especially right after he's had a haircut, he can see really well. He's got pretty good aim. But it's just making sure that you clean out the very corner of that eye just so then he can really see where he's going. I'm just softening up the top here. And I want to pull all this stuff down. Just clean up his lips a little bit more here. It's really hard to find a little tiny pair of scissors that actually cuts, and these ones actually cut really well. You've got to be careful that you don't make the back of the head too small or too big. And oh, that's nice. Really common mistake. Let you go, girl. <laughs> Thanks. I'm loving it. You're okay, Snap. Snap's not quite sure what the camera is. All right, let's scooch you around here. 
Let me see what I got going on here. Hold on, hold on. Good boy. Right now we're just checking to make sure everything's the same all the way right down. And the same on both sides, because that's also really hard to do. I know. Good boy. Slippery fingers. Clean up this a little bit more. It's a lot of whittling. up here and then I would just take my blenders and just quick go over it just to make sure everything looks nice and neat and clean Snap. Hold on. You want to make sure that you've pulled all the little hairs out from their mouth. Because they like to suck them in. We're about ready to call it done. Until we do the rest of his neck, that's about all we can do. All right. So this is Macy and Snap over at the Sensei booth. And uh, thanks for watching. <laughs>